So this is slicing silver side for dummies. Now, <laughs> by dummies, I don't want to put you down. And it just means it's going to be the very simplest way. You can start by getting your roast from your butcher, wholesaler, abattoir, wherever you can get a whole silver side. If you can't get a hold of silver side, go to your local supermarket, look for the beef roasts, find top side or silver side, you will get exactly the same thing, just a lot smaller. Now we start with this face down. When I say face down, <clears throat> it means the under part is underneath me, obviously. Now I am at this stage just taking a very flexible knife and I'm just trimming the soft fat. This hard stuff, leave. This hard stuff, leave. You can trim off as little or as much fat as you like. I like to take the slippery, thin fat off. This is all nice fat. If you can find a roast with some yellow fat, it tends to be the nicer fat. Um, it is from grass-fed beef. The pen-fed beef tends to have white fat on the top which means they've been fattened up on grain. Just as good, but it's just some people prefer the grain beat grass fed, sorry. So now I've flicked it over. Now we have it on its top. Again, we are trimming anything that's loose, anything that looks like it's sinew, take it off. You can use a big knife, a small knife just try to go just underneath the skin obviously I've done this a few times you do not need to go as fast as I am be very careful and always I mean always cut away from you this way when you're cutting towards yourself you're not slipping and slicing into yourself Occasionally, I cut towards myself and it's a little reminder not to. Now, <clears throat> on a silver side, you get this strip of sinew. You've seen it on my videos. I like to trim off any blood or this is just congealed blood that comes off. You can dry this as it is, unsalted, and give it to your pet. Um, and by pet, I mean dog. I don't think a cat will eat it, although it might. I cut mine into strips. Just when it dries, it's just thinner. It is very tough. goes into a separate tub. Make sure you get all of that sinew on the side. That is a tendon that does not dry very nicely and it doesn't... <laughs> I don't suppose it will taste any worse but um, you will chew it forever. Now splitting the silver side You've got a top round and a bottom round. You use both. Splitting, splitting it here. Before I part it from the main body, so to speak, I will trim off the excess. All this waste I throw away, but again, you can 
boil it up with your dog's food, mince it, put it in with some lean, make bourgeois with it. I don't. For me, it's a, it's a byproduct. So there's another tendon on the side here. We slice that off. Come off with fat. I'm not keeping that for the dogs. Take off any congealed blood. Fatty section here between the top and bottom round. That comes off. Now you have your top round ready for slicing. Make sure you are cutting really probably between half an inch and three quarters of an inch thick, depending how wet you like your biltong. The thicker the slice, the wet the biltong. I tend to vary it so that I get a bit of both. You can get to a point where your roast wants to fall over, that's fine. Let's get those out of the way, that's nice fatty pieces. Light on its side, the side you've been slicing and slice some of that off. You've got lean, you've got a little bit of fat on the top, that's fine, We're keeping that. Turn it back over. Now I've got a broader base, it's not gonna just fall over. Get towards the end, push your left hand up against the roast, and this will stabilize it. Now we just make sure that we've gone all the way through with our knife. That's fine. Now, see this has some fat on the top and lean on the the bottom. You can cut it in half like that sideways. Now you've got a fatty piece with some meat underneath it. Nice strips. Easy and gently use a very sharp knife. You can see here we are cutting with the grain just like on a tree explained this before in other videos so there's the grain if I was to cut it this way it would be just as good but you want nice long pieces we're cutting along the grain I'm creating some thin pieces here these will be dry and lean lean into the meat let the knife do the work if it's like too much like hard work your knife's not sharp enough nine times out of ten you can go all the way through and that my friends is slicing the silver side for dummies <laughs>